Well, let's get back to the conversation on President Buhari's second term in office. We still have uh, joining us uh, the is a spokesperson actually for the uh, Atiku and uh, PDP Presidential Campaign Council, uh, Mr. Uh, Buba Galadima. He joins us live from Abuja. I'd like us to continue with the conversation. Now, we talked about a general overview of the president's uh, second term so far, but let's talk about security. I understand that you're from uh, Yobe State, and there have been reports of uh, Boko Haram attacks and, of course, uh, the onslaught uh, by the Nigerian military. But then, from your perspective, you know the area so well. What do you think the government is missing when it comes to security in that region? in sorting out the security situation in Nigeria. And I make bold to tell anybody, you don't uh, fight insurgency and uh, this type of banditry through brute force. And especially when you are doing this in your own country, what you use is intelligence and technology. Nobody in this government understands <coughs> the use and and, and uh, uh, the use of technology or deploying technology to, draw, to, to, to track uh, bandits or, or, or abductors or kidnappers or whosoever. And the money we spend on physical force by mobilizing security agencies, soldiers, and <coughs> police would easily, half of it, could have sorted out this problem if we use technology to really track down on these people. And uh, I want to say, that you press men in this country have done a great deal of disservice to Nigeria because you are not reporting exactly what is happening all over this nation. In Zima, this that's, country, that's a huge allegation, especially on the fourth estate killed. of the nation. It's obvious that the security, I mean, the government will say only one person is killed. In effect, they remove zero. Zero is nothing. But when you add zero to one, it becomes ten. So, we, the, the informations have been suppressed. <coughs> Borno, Yobe are under siege. Are under siege. Everybody knows there are local, more local governments in Borno now that no security man can afford to go without a massive uh, 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 convoy of escorts. And you cannot go. Look, the National Security Advisor comes from Borno. The Chief of Staff comes from Borno. The Chief of Army Staff comes from Borno. Me that I speak to you, lived all my life from January 1st, 1966 to date, I live in Maiduguri with my family. Therefore, and I have been Maiduguri Town Engineer, I have been Maiduguri Area Engineer that covers the whole of Yobe and Borno. So I know the terrain, no less than any person. But the government is only using those that it wants to use, not those that could do the job.